Hello and welcome. In this quick tutorial, we're going to do a really cool color change effect on this video clip. Now getting started, we're going to take this video clip, hold Option or Alt on your keyboard, click on the clip, drag it up, and that's going to make a copy of that clip. We're then going to open the clip in the color page. Now once we've opened our clip in the color page, we're going to go to our qualifier. We're going to grab that and just run along this car. I'm going to go to my picker add going to add a little bit. That's going to bring out some background stuff, but that's not something we have to worry about. We can fix that. We're going to go down here. We're going to clean up our blacks a little bit. We're going to go over here to two under matte finesse. We're going to denoise this a little bit. We're then going to open up a power window. We're going to grab our Bezier tool, our pen tool, and just draw a mask around this. And so what we're doing is we want to isolate it out as much of this other color from the clip. We obviously won't be able to get it all, but we're going to do our best to get as much of it as we possibly can. Once we've created our power window, we're going to go to tracker. We're going to track that forward and back in the event that you're not on the beginning of the clip. Tracking it forward and back is going to be very important here. Now that that's done, we're going to turn that off because I don't want to look at it. We're going to go up here into empty space, right click. We're going to add an alpha output, at which point we'll just connect these two points. Make sure the two blue points are connected. You're going to go down to hue and rotating this to the left or the right will allow you to change the colors. I'm going to change mine to a bright green. I really like that. Going back to our edit page. We're now going to select the two clips, right click on them, new fusion clip, at which point we will right click and select open in fusion page. Now that we've got our two clips here in the fusion represented by median in one, median in two, we're going to bring median in two up. I'm going to flatten this one out just to give us some extra space. We're going to go down here, highlight that merge, and we're going to hit shift space bar on our keyboard, at which point we will bring in a second merge. And once that second merge is in, we're going to go up here, click an empty space. Again, shift space bar. We're going to bring in Proto. A Proto V2 effect, if you don't already have that, there's a link in the description. It's absolutely free. No obligation of any sort. It's from Patrick Sterling. You can download that, again, at that link for free. It's very easy to import into DaVinci Resolve. You can open it up, either double click on it to import it, or drag and drop it into an empty fusion page. Either way, we'll import the effect. So go ahead and add that, at which point we are going to take these points and connect them. We're going to connect the median two to that, and we already have the start of an effect. We're going to go up here, grab a rectangle, drag that into empty space. We're going to connect that to that merge one. We're then going to bring this down we're going to drag it out a little bit. We want to make it the length of the vehicle. We're going to soften the edge a little bit. We're going to bring up the border width a little bit. At which point we would just take this and drag it off the screen. We're then going to go down here, right click on rectangle, copy. We're going to go over here, right click in empty space, paste instance. We're going to take that instance, connect it to merge two, at which point we would go up to our solid. We're going to right click on that. We're going to choose D instance. We're going to turn solid off. At this point, move your playhead forward to the point you want the effect to start happening. I'm going to move mine right about here. I'm going to go to center, add a keyframe. I'm then going to go towards the end of the video clip. We're going to close the inspector for a second so I can expose this. We're going to drag this over. Once we have it in place, we'll bring our inspector back up. We're then going to go up to Proto V2, highlight that, go to user, and you can pick one of these to go with. I'm going to select the lava effect. It's going to give us an effect that looks something like this. 
Other one thing you'll notice is that the blur is above and below the effect. We'd like to change that a bit. We'll go to controls. We're going to take glow size down. We're going to take glow blur size down. And that's going to bring it in a little closer to the vehicle. And we're also going to turn down the core blur size. Now, once you're satisfied with the overall look, we're going to go down here into empty space, shift space bar. We're going to add another merge node here in empty space. We're going to take that merge, holding shift, just drag it in there, connect it. At which point we're going to go over to our median two, right click on it. We're going to copy it, come over here and paste it. We'll then take that and connect it to the merge three. With that second median two selected, you're going to hit shift space bar. We're going to bring in an edge detect node. With that edge detect selected, we're going to go up here to our inspector right here where it says mode RGB edges. We're going to change that to grayscale. And we're going to select a color. For this, we're going to go with eh, maybe kind of a blue. I'm going to bring my brightness up just a little bit. I'm going to go down to filters and I'm going to select filter. We're then going to go down to our, our third merge, click on that, go up to apply mode, screen. At which point we'll go down here to the instance rectangle that we created and we're going to just connect it to that merge. From here, we'll move this down, get a little bit of space. We're going to grab both of these, pull them down a little bit. We're going to go over here, click in empty space, shift space bar, displace. Click on the displace, hold shift, drag it in between the two clips. Make sure that it's connected. We're then going to go back over to empty space, click shift space bar. This time we're going to bring in a fast noise. And go ahead and connect that fast noise to the displace that you just created. Once those nodes are connected, hit your displace. Go up here to refraction strength. We're going to change this to 0.6. Select your fast noise. With the fast noise selected, we're going to bring up our contrast and our scale. We're going to go back over to the displace. We're going to right click on that. We're going to copy it. We're going to bring it over here into empty space. We're then going to hold our shift key, drag it in between the merge and the instance. We're going to do the same with the fast noise. Right click, copy, come over here. We're going to paste it, at which point we will connect it to that displace. At this point, we're going to go back up to our proto effect. We're going to wind this back just a little bit. Now, if we go back to the edit page and play through this clip, this is what it will look like. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for future DaVinci tutorials.